So there's a bit of crappy news uh, related to climate change. Uh, It's being reported that in Alaska, the effects of climate change will be thawing out about 66 tons of human waste left by climbers on the summit of Denali National Park. So now, obviously, this is more of a local story for uh, people in Alaska, but it also has to do with the repercussions of climate change uh, on a larger level, I should say. Uh, Now, as far as Denali is concerned, this frozen poop is expected to melt over the next few decades, and even potentially as soon as this summer, thanks to global warming. So now, how big of a problem is this? Well, for the glacier, it's actually kind of a big problem. Now, climbers that are scaling Denali, previously known as Mount McKinley, generate close to two metric tons of human waste a year, according to the National Park Service. That is a lot of poo uh, when you think about it. And generally, people don't like like to think about that. But when you're on a mountain, you got to go somewhere, right? Now, where they would go, the details are actually kind of gross. Uh, Human waste was left in snow pits on something called the Cahiltna uh, Glacier, the most common route up, or thrown into deep crevasses at higher elevations. From the crevasse you come, to the crevasse you return. Now, it turns out that that happened to be a big problem, according to Michael Loso. Now, uh, he's a National Park Service glaciologist, who have been studying the problem of climber excrement on the mountain for close to a decade. Now, imagine that. Kind of a crappy job. My opinion. Uh, but then again, you do what you love, even if some people think it's crap. Uh, okay. Now, uh, but look, what he found is no laughing matter. Uh, he actually performed several experiments that the snow uh, buried, uh, or that showed that the buried feces eventually resurfaced farther downstream on the surface of the glacier where they begin to melt. Now, the problem with that is that it could cause some health issues for anyone around that area. Generally, I don't think a lot of people live around that area, but nonetheless, that is not what you want to have downstream. Now, Loso's research suggested that, in general, the bacteria and other things that lived in feces survive after being buried in the snow or dropped in a crevasse. Tests of the rivers into which the glacier melts found low levels of fecal coliform bacteria. Now, it wasn't enough to really cause huge problems uh, and be completely unsafe, but nonetheless, that is poo water. Fun. Not something I want to be around. Uh, but anyway, now, as far as fun goes, let's get a, get a load of this quote here. Um, <clears throat> he said, uh, this, is, uh, this is Loso, Quote, the waste will emerge at the surface not very from uh, not very different from when it was buried. It will be smushed and have been frozen and be really wet. It will be biologically active. So the E. coli that was in the waste when it was buried will be alive and well. We expect it to still smell bad and look bad. Great. Awesome. <laughs> now, look, uh, thawing poop is both funny and gross. Uh, but the real story, of course, here is climate change. And by the way, uh, just to answer any questions on that, um, there are new now changes at uh, Denali uh, and new technologies that are allowing people to carry their feces off the mountain. So let's be fair on that. Uh, in fact, I've got more information on that further on in the story. But first, uh, I want to talk about the climate change aspect of this. Now, in Alaska, climate change has had a huge impact. Research by the National Park Service found that in the past 50 years, the area covered by ice within the Alaskan parks has diminished by a total of 8%. Now, look, you want to think, oh, 8%, that doesn't sound very much. Well, it turns out it actually kind of uh, is a big deal uh, and is a lot of territory. Uh, To put it into perspective, Loso said, we have lost more glacier cover in the Alaska National Parks than there is area in the whole state of Rhode Island. So there is now a loss of a total area of Rhode Island when it comes to uh, ice in Alaska. And he said one of the consequences of warming temperatures is that the surface of the glacier is melting more quickly. And the melting, of course, is expected to get worse if we don't do something about it. 
actually maybe pass a real Green New Deal, for example. Now, as far as the poop problem is uh, concerned, the guide companies that lead many of the 1,200 climbers who attempt the summit each year have voluntarily decided to start packing out their human waste. In the year before the National Park Service had instituted a policy that all such waste uh, below 14,000 feet must be carried off the mountain. Now, climbers have actually taken this as a challenge, an additional challenge to climbing the mountain. Uh, Loso said climbers and particularly guide services are really embracing the new policy and are even exceeding it. Well, that's great. Way to go for it. Um, it has become kind of an informal badge of merit to carry off all your waste. Wonderful. <laughs> so I guessed it's a bit of a positive twist at the end, sort of. But again, the real issue here is climate change and what we're going to do about it as a species in the macro scale. I think, again, we need a Green New Deal. We need something akin to uh, what, you know, what we did in World War II. Uh, or maybe the Marshall Plan, for the climate. So to ramp up all of our industry and all of our economic might into combating what is actually no laughing matter, what could end up being one of the biggest uh, problems facing, no, what is the biggest problem facing our species. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed that free video. Now I'm going to have to ask you a favor. Between the uh, demonetization and the YouTube algorithm messing around with view counts, etc., we're having a hard time adjusting to the new YouTube reality, which is where you guys come in. See, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash TYTNation, set up to help us rely on the, you guys, the viewers, instead of big corporate ads. Look. You know the show. You know how I'm not in favor of big corporations anyway. So help us transition away from relying on the ad model to pay the bills and sign up to be a patron. Patreon.com slash TYT Nation. That goes a long way to help us keep the lights on. And you guys will know that you're supporting independent progressive media.